guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, I will demonstrate to you how to set up PPPOE server and PPPOE client. Without further ado, let's get started. I have here a topology on what I will set up in this video. So what you can see here, we have only one internet. And in port 3, we will assign this interface for our PPPA server. We will make also two profiles for 5 MB and 10 MB clients. This computer is for user 1 and this computer is for user 2. So we will now start the configuration. First, we will do the basic configuration in our Microtech device. So we'll access it. So my Microtech device is in router OS version 7.8. So we will now start the basic configuration. So first we will rename the interface. Ether1 is our ISP. Ether3 is our PPPUE. Next is we will now do the one setting. R1 is DHCP. So we will do it in IP, then DHCP client, and click plus, then choose the interface, then we will just leave the default configuration. Click apply, then OK. Next is we will assign DNS, IP, then DNS. Click allow remote request servers. We'll choose the Google public DNS. Apply, then OK. Next, we will now go to our firewall NAT so that we can masquerade the one interface. In general, source NAT out interface, the interface of your one, and action, masquerade, apply, then OK. We'll try to do ping test. Right, our device has now an internet. So we will now proceed to PPWA server and client setup. We will make an IP pool for our PPPOE. So in our case, it's we will assign an IP pool range of 192.168.255.10 up to 254. So click IP, then pool, click plus. We will name this one PPPOE clients. IP address pool 192.168.255.10. To dash 192.168.255.254. Click apply, then OK. After that one, we will go to queues and in simple queue, we will add this, we will add, we will make a queue for our PPA server. This queue is the total bandwidth allocated for our PPPA server. This will be assigned in the parent queue setting of our PPPA profile later. So we will name this one total PPPA server bandwidth. Uh, we'll just rename. name this one total PPPA bandwidth. Target is the network address of our IP pool, so it's 192.168.255.0 slash 24. Mass limit, we will allocate 50 MB bandwidth for our PPPOE server, so it's 50 MB, upload 50 MB, download, apply, then OK. 
I will now proceed to configuring the PPP server and client. So we will go to PPP and PPP server tab. Click plus. We will name this one PPP server. Interface will be Ethernet 3. Then check one session per host. Click apply. Then OK. We will now proceed in making uh, PP, PPP OE profiles. So click profile tab, click plus. In general tab, we will name this one 5 MB profile. Then in local address, it's 192.168.255.1. Remote address is PPP OE clients. Then we will assign DNS server here. So I will put 8.8.8.8.8 Google Public DNS 8.8.8.4.4 Then leave the rest of the configuration here in the general tab by default Then go to protocols Induce encryption Click yes And then in limits In rate limit We will assign this one 5 MB 5 M over 5 M Meaning 5 MB upload 5 MB download and queues in parent queue I will choose the queue that we made previously so we will choose total PPP OE bandwidth click apply and ok we will do the same process for our 10 MB profile so click plus in general tab we will name this one 10 MB profile local address is 192.168.2 255.1 the remote address the PPPOE clients pool and DNS that it that it that it it that it that four that four then in protocols use encryption yes limits this will be 10 M over 10 M Q parent Q Total PPPOE bandwidth. Click apply and OK. We will now proceed to making in making user for our PPPOE server. So click circuit secrets, then click plus. We will name this one user1 and the password is user1 also. Service will be PPPOE profile this will be 5 MB profile so this user has been allocated a 5 MB internet speed click apply and ok we will, we will make another user so we will name this one user2 password will be user2 also so it's up to you what is the name and password that you will set here in service click PPPOE profile 10 MB profile click apply then ok so basically we are now done with the configuration so we will now do the testing so I am currently plugged here my laptop is currently plugged here in Ether3 so we will uh, dial, di dial directly and use the user1 configuration so to, to dial the PPOA credentials in your computer or laptop we will go to dial up setting this one then set up a new connection and next click this one and input the credentials user 1 then user 1 click connect Right, so we are now connected. So we will check the in the IP address of our uh, PPPOE. So as what you can see, my laptop now has been assigned an IP of 192.168.255.254. So let's check the internet. We will do speed test.
So when we success when we dial successfully, that that user user one will be now logged in in our queue. So, so as you can see, the parent interface is this one. Then the user will be below to that parent interface. So when you click that one, go to traffic. So as you can see, the bandwidth limit for our profile, PPA profile, has been successfully uh, working. So it's working. So we'll do again the testing. All right, it's all right. It's it's five M, five Mbps. Alright, so user one configuration is working. So we will test the second user for 10 Mbps bandwidth limit. So in our we will remove this one first, disconnect and remove so that we can add a new one. So we will now use the second user. User two. Password user two. Connect. All right, so we are now connected to the internet, so we will now do the testing. So as what you can see, it's working. So the bandwidth limit for user two is uh, functional. It's working. So our configuration is working just fine. So this is how you set up PPV server and client with bandwidth limit to your users. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.